What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping into something kind of interesting off the beaten music path for sure. What it takes to be a contortionist for Cirque du Soleil. Let's jump in and let's check it out together. I got them done. I mean, I wouldn't want to, I can't contortion my body at all. Like, I could be, I'd be lucky if I could touch my toes. Seriously, there's people out there with these beyond human abilities. I don't even know. You're just born in a special kind of mold, I guess. But it's very interesting to see the limits to which someone can push their body. Let's go on a journey. If you enjoy it, make sure that you get over and show Insider all the love of the world. Shout out to Udit for the request. I appreciate it. Let's go. Many people ask me weird questions. And one of them is, Alexi, do you have bones? And I often say, yes, I do have bones, but before I go to work, I leave them at home. This is Alexi Giloborotka. I don't even like how Alexi is sitting right here for this interview. This might be feel like I got in a... Oh, Lord. Mars twisted up right now. Before I go to work, I leave them at home. This is Alexi Giloborotka, the world's best contortionist. I train three to five hours per day to maintain my flexibility and my other disciplines that I have in my act. I control my body in all the shapes, all the positions as I want. It feels awesome. It's like having a superpower. It is a superpower. It's not like having a superpower. You're definitely a superpower. Alexi is a, a superpower. The traveling circus company Cirque du Soleil. He's one of 45 performers from 19 different nationalities traveling with the show Lucia. Alexei grew up in Tula, Russia, and has been practicing contortionism since he was just four years old. When I was a kid, I asked my parents to take me to a circus show, just to watch it for fun. And the next day, I asked my mom to take me to a circus studio. I told her that I fell in love with circus. And since then, I've been doing contortion, and it's almost 20 years. I started when I was four, now I'm 24. Alexei began performing with Cirque du Soleil's Lucia three years ago. His show celebrates the culture, history, and mythology of Mexico by bringing to life a surreal Mexican-themed dream. It was the first Cirque du Soleil show to incorporate water into the set design. And Alexei has been traveling and contorting with Lucia for hundreds of shows across North America. And he quickly gained fame for his mind-bending movements. It's huge responsibility to be the best contortionist in the world, to be the most flexible male in the world. Because I have many fans, and it's huge responsibility not to drop your level from here to there because if you drop a level you disappoint them and i feel like i don't have rights to disappoint my public i don't have rights to disappoint my people hey that's a great way to think though he just doesn't want to be disappointing to anybody we caught up with Alexi during his warm-up before the premiere of Lucia in New York City. My genre is called dancing contortion. It's a mix of different disciplines. The base is contortion, being bendy and flexible. And other disciplines such as hand balance, elements of rhythm so gymnastics, painful. elements of ballet dance, elements of modern dance are maintained in my acts. Alexi warms up for about 40 to 45 minutes before each show. It's one of five stretching and cardio sessions he has throughout the day. He has to keep his body limber and loose, so he doesn't hurt himself. For practice, for training, I'm very aware of each movement I do. Because when I stretch, I have to keep everything under control, not to injure myself. But when I perform, I mostly think about my character in the act. I think about my presence on stage. Not only does Alexei constantly have to strengthen his body, but contortionism also demands a steady mind. It's similar to yoga and he has to learn to control his thoughts and be present with his body through each movement. The hardest part is to maintain... A man's knees are over his shoulders. I'm sitting here trying to think about how much bend that would take to get me my foot over my shoulder. That's insane. Insane, insane flexibility. Learn to control his thoughts and be present with his body through each movement. The hardest part is to maintain the balance between flexibility and strength. Because if I get too loose, too flexible, and I don't care about my strength, I cannot control properly what I do. On the other hand, if I get too strong, I'm gonna start losing flexibility. It's now about three hours before the it's show, a and Alexei act. begins his makeup routine. These 45 minutes help him get into character. Alexei portrays a mythical creature called an alabrijes. It's a Mexican creature that combines in itself many different animals, such as swan, panther, scorpion, snake, and all these animals are all in one is alabrijes. And this is me. 
is my interpretation of this creature. He worked with a choreographer for six months to bring the creature to life. And as his skills have developed through the years, so has his act. Once makeup's done, Alexi is ready to debut his Alabrijes persona to New York City. But before he comes on in Act 2, other master acrobats take the stage. There was hoop diving on treadmills, adagio acrobatics, sear wheel and trapeze, hand balancing, masts and poles, aerial straps, and juggling. And finally, a dark form on a platform is rolled out onto a candlelit stage. The crowd goes dead quiet. Slowly, Alexi unravels, and people shriek. Many different reactions are received. Sometimes they are just mesmerized, and I can see complete silence in the audience. I can hear almost nothing when I perform besides music. It's very impressive. You're just performing in the silence. It's amazing. And the other reaction, when they go crazy and they scream, and sometimes people scream so hard that I cannot hear accents in the music. I go to mesmerize, to impress, and to make them go crazy. He twists and flips, and you're unsure which body part is which. He fluidly contorts into shape after shape. Jesus Christ. The best contortionist in the world strikes his last pose. Head between his legs, chest on the floor. And the audience erupts. I really love it because I realize how much I can express myself with my body. And I don't a lot need more else. than a lot that's of other body, people out there. Body. Good God. That's seriously inhuman, but I love that he can do it. Very, very, very intriguing. I look behind the scenes. That's something I would definitely want to go see live, for real, for real. I've seen contortionism before, but never to this extent. It's like a human rubber band. Absolutely crazy cool. Get over and show Insider all the love in the world. Smash the like button if you liked it, the dislike button. But I won't believe you. Tell the next one about the combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back.